practiced it? Has he been practicing? Or? Uh, well, we haven't practiced since, so I guess we'll find out today. Uh, but other than what y'all saw, that's all I really know. Did you guys look at that on film or whatever afterwards? You know what I mean? I wonder what it looked like. Too. His injury? Nah, we didn't look at that on film. Okay. Well, how, uh, if he can't play, how, how much of a hole is that for the rest of you guys to fill? Uh, it would definitely be a, a big position for us to fill. Uh, what he gives our team, what he brings, his energy, leadership, uh, his defensive ability, you know, his toughness, uh, all stuff that's hard to replace, but we would just have to try to do it as a collective, uh, collective team. What has he said to you about, you know, the ankle? Uh, he said he felt he felt fine, but you know you never know till you get out on the floor. You know, try to you know cut and move and stuff like that. So you know, I guess we'll see. What do you see from uh, Anthony Edwards and some of those young guys at Georgia that can play? Um, I haven't seen too much. I just I just know from you know watching McDonald's All American games and stuff like that that uh, he's pretty good. Um, they got a really good team. You know, Georgia's well coached. Tom Crane's done a great job, you know, over the past couple of years. So, uh, Georgia will be a, definitely a good test for us, especially on the road. We got a lot of young guys, so we just have to come together to try to get a win. You've been playing really well off the ball. Do you think if Ashton, for some reason, can't go, uh, would you stay off the ball and, or, or move back and do some of the point? Um, it honestly doesn't matter to me whether I'm playing on or off. Uh, me and Tyrese can play on or off the ball. Uh, if Ashton's able to go, uh, uh, he can even play off the ball. So, uh, honestly, when we're playing three guards or two guards, it, it, it doesn't really matter. We're pretty much comfortable whichever way. Three-point shots starting to fall a little more. How much of a relief is that to see it in game action? Um, it's great, you know, but if, you know, I live and, live and die with the shots I take. So, if I'm making, uh, it's, it's, it's all great. And if I'm missing, you know, you just keep shooting the same shots that you get. Uh, you just got to let it fly, have confidence with it. What makes Edwards effective? Why is he good? Um, he's like 6'6", six, six, really strong, uh, athletic, can shoot it, can create his own shot, uh, which in turn makes it, you know, makes his teammates better because you're spending so much attention guarding him. So uh, we'll have a tough task, you know, guarding him uh, tomorrow. I think of you as the, uh, if I was trying to decide who was going to have him, who was going to guard him, I would think you. I but, appreciate that. No, I'm not, I'm not just saying that. What, uh, what do you think you bring as a defender? Um, I got really long arms. Uh, I think my wingspan is like 6'9 or 6'10. So, uh, really long arms. He can get out and get deflections and contests. Uh, I think I'm pretty quick uh, defensively. So, uh, just being able to use my, my tools and effectively to be able to get stops and, you know, make stuff hard uh, for the offensive players when we get. How much defense did you play as a high school player, or, you know, prior to? Uh, none. <laughs> none? Yeah. What did, what did you do at that end of the court? I uh, was waiting for the mid shot so I could go play off it. <laughs> How long does it take you to learn the defense at the college level, especially with what Cal was? I think you're serious, but go ahead. Defense here is, is way different, than, especially than high school. Um, <laughs> the game's way faster. There's multiple rotations that you got to get down. Mm -hmm. uh, playing. Playing defense here, is, even even at other schools, I think it's a little bit more difficult here, just because there's there's so many like NBA concepts that you got to get down in, in a short amount of time because we're moving fast uh, here. So uh, you just got to try to learn on the fly and, and hopefully get it down before uh, sooner than later. How uh, uh, I remember with uh, more, uh, tell me if I'm wrong. The idea was to make him go left. Uh, yeah. I'm wondering if there's an idea with uh, Edwards. Uh, you know. Oh well, we we haven't watched any. Uh, but well, we haven't done our scout report at all yet. But uh, yeah, War was that was the idea to make him go left, don't give him anything easy. But I mean, really, honestly, all these players are good that we're playing, so you can try to take stuff away. But if they don't have an off night, they they might hit some shots. So things like that, you know, just try to make everything hard, play team defense, uh, and just really have each other's backs. Just that you guys. First year under your belt, what what do you remember about you know going on the road in the SEC and, and why it's a big challenge? Uh, every game's tough. Um, most team student sections are like right, right on the floor, uh, so you know they're screaming and yelling and saying stuff. So you know, just got to try to be composed. And for a freshman, that can be tough. But um, I've seen it before, so I, I probably won't be uh, too too rattled, or too nervous, or anything like that. So uh, just got to try to stay composed and, and try to help out the young guy. How? Uh, what stands out in your memory of things that you've heard, either directed at you or or someone else? I mean, you know, that stuck in your mind. 
Uh, the fans can say some pretty crazy stuff sometimes. Uh, they can be a little bit ruthless, but you know, uh, you just got to try to, like I said, stay composed, uh, listen to coaches' game plan, and, and just try to, you know, uh, stay together as a team. Because you know, when you travel, it's just the 12 guys you got and, and the coaching staff and things like that versus everybody in the arena. Is there one fan base that does their homework on you guys? Reads your bio, knows your family, your likes, your dislikes. Is there one fan base that does that? Uh, Tennessee was pretty was pretty tough. That was probably the loudest arena I've been in was Tennessee. Um, I can't remember anything in particular, but uh, Tennessee was probably the loudest we've, I've, I've been in. What about Georgia? You guys went there last year. When yeah, Georgia was, was really crazy, uh, especially for Ashton. Even in warm-ups, they were yelling and screaming at Ashton before the game, uh, all about his commitment and stuff like that. So I'm sure it'll be a, be a lot of fun for him this game, too. How did he handle it? What did he, you know? He handled it with 30. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> right. If Ashton is made to be a hundred percent, how does that alter? Not necessarily the game plan, but maybe the rotations, especially if Johnny can't play, and it shrinks that rotation. So. Oh uh, yeah, um, it's tough, you know, especially already without Johnny. But if we don't have Ashton, you know, that could be like a a 37, 38 minute type game for me and Tyrese. Um, I'm, we're in shape, but you know. You, you, kind of want to, you know, get that five to six minutes, seven minutes if you can and rest. But, you know, if we have to go all 40, I'm pretty sure we could go all 40. Riley Welsh, I know that he wants to be a coach someday and his yeah. dad's coach of the Clippers. I've seen him before every game coaching Nate and uh, Keon and some of those guys. What do you think of his coaching future? That's one of my best friends, man. Uh, I sit by, I sit next to him on the bench every time I'm on the bench. Because uh, he's, first of all, he's funny. Uh, but then he has a really good basketball mind. When we're on defense on, on our side, uh, he's always talking and screaming, knows the other team's plays because he, he knows the he's on the scout team and stuff like that. So he's screaming and yelling stuff before it even happens. Um, so Riley's really good with that stuff. I don't want you to say funny. What, uh, what, give me an example of his uh, humor. Um, I don't know. He's just always, uh, me and Riley, he, I work out with Riley sometimes, and uh, we'll do a lot of live stuff. And when he, if he gets a stop on me, he'll start screaming, and it'll be nobody in the gym, stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I want to make sure I got it right. Uh, I heard uh, one of our other people told me that after the last game, you said about free throws that you closed your eyes. Yeah. For a second there, I thought you like when you shot it, you closed. Oh no, nah. I, I was really that impressed. Good. I don't know if I can do that. Yeah, yeah I'll try it maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Why? At what point do you do that? You know, in the. Um, honestly, it started the Louisville game. Uh, I always took a deep breath, but I never really closed my eyes. But honestly, when I'm I'm closing my eyes, it kind of feels it kind of feels better, honestly. So uh, I'll probably just stay with it uh, as long as I keep making free throws. It sounds like a relaxing. Yeah, it is. It is. I'm sure you've been asked this, but do you guys have any sense for whether you'll have Ashton in Athens, and if you do or don't, who's got to kind of fill that role? Um, we don't know if we're gonna 